you're looking for a way to support our local artists, the Indianapolis Art Center has a new exhibit for you to check out, and it's free and open to the public. Ooh, love to hear that. The Arts Center believes the new Into the Garden exhibit is a good way to get one last taste of summer before we head into fall, and our Randall Newsome has more. Hey guys, I'm coming to you from inside the Indianapolis Art Center, and we're talking about new exhibitions. Colton, how are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Glad Good. to have you here. Good. When you think of everything that's happening here, um, is, it, is it getting you kind of excited as, as, as you open up new exhibitions? It is. It's great to, as we're getting back into the building. It's, it, everything is coming alive again, so it's great to see that. It gets everyone excited, whether it's seeing a show or a student taking a class. It's, it's great. Awesome. When you think of uh, the artists, uh, everything that's been going on with COVID-19 and finally been able to, to put their work back on display, what does that mean? I think for them it's, it's a form of validation. It's getting to express yourself again. Um, we're so used to making work where other, ones, other people can't see it mm -hmm. or where we're doing it in our homes or our own studio. So finally getting to share it again, is, it's just some level of normal that we get back to. And for the fans of art, what is it like, uh, this experience here? How is it a little bit different from maybe some of the other ones? So with us, you know, Into the Garden, it's a fun kind of summer feel. Um, as we wrap out and we're, you know, getting close to fall now, I think it's a nice way to stay in touch with summer and since we've lost so much of it um, due to COVID and the restrictions. It's just kind of a nice taste. It extends it a little bit for you. Awesome. And speaking of those restrictions, uh, what's the protocol? What do people need to know uh, before they show up for one of these exhibitions? So when coming to any of the exhibitions, just like going to the grocery store or, you know, Target or something like that, just come in, have your mask ready, um, and just follow the signs and just enjoy what you see. So Colton, what does it take for artists to have their work featured in exhibitions like these? Well, you know, there's a lot of different routes we can take, but the one we use here the most, especially for our group shows, like the Into the Garden exhibition, mm -hmm. is something called an open call. So we put a call out with a description of the show. You sh submit your work, mm -hmm. sending us photographs or artist statements. And then um, we work with the juror to see what, how the show comes together and then put them up. Awesome. I, I'm curious, man. I, I made a couple submissions and I, and I was wondering, uh, did, did you catch my application at all? Did, did you see some of my work out there? Uh, you know, we get a lot of applications in, and I'm sure it's just sitting in there. It might be at the bottom of the stack right now. Bottom of the stack. <laughs> How about, man, you know what? Okay, so, so uh, you know what? That's, that's, I'm going to have to think about how uh, I got rejected on, on this uh, Indianapolis Art Center exhibition. <laughs> but in the meantime, guys, support your real local artists, not me. Uh, what would be your pitch uh, as the director of education here? What would be your pitch uh, for somebody who's thinking about um, taking on this experience? You know what? Just... Be ready, be willing to just open your mind, see what's there, um, just explore, whether it's inside or outside at the Art Center, just take it all in, just kind of feel that creative spirit. Awesome. Well, guys, if you want to feel that creative spirit, this is where you need to be, the Indianapolis Art Center. Their new exhibition, Into the Garden, is open now. I'll send it back to you guys. Very cool, Randall. Thank you very much.